pro-Iranian groups continued their attempts to attack Israeli territory. Kamikaze drones were launched from Syria and Iraq, but most of them were intercepted. At the same time, Iranian-backed groups struck U.S. bases in Syria. The U.S. armed forces' positions at the Conoco gas field came under fire, but they didn't provide any result. The Israelis continued to launch attacks on the Syrian Arab Republic. The Sayyida Zainab area near Damascus, where Shiite militants and their families are housed, came under fire. In addition, facilities in the industrial zone of al Qusair in Homs Governorate were attacked. The last time this city was hit was at the end of last month. Details have also emerged of a special operation by Israeli commandos carried out on July 18th in the south of the Arab Republic. In Kunetra Governorate, the military intelligence and the Israel Defense Forces managed to capture an agent of the Iranian IRGC. In northern Syria, the strikes by Turkish troops on the positions of Kurdish groups have not ceased. However, since the Kurdistan Workers' Party attack in Ankara, the intensity of shelling by the Turkish armed forces has noticeably decreased. Kurdish militias attacked the positions of pro-Turkish groups. Three Syrian National Army militants were killed and three others wounded during a sortie in the vicinity of Azaz. The Russian Air Force continued to hit the facilities of the Islamic State in the Syrian desert. At the same time, the SAR Armed Forces and the National Defense Forces fought against gangs in the governorates of Raqqa, Homs, and Deir ez-Zor. In the north of Iraq, air and ground operation of the Turkish Armed Forces against the Kurdistan Workers' Party continued. During a series of airstrikes by the Turkish Air Force on the Kandil mountain range, up to eight militants were eliminated. 